Hello and welcome back to the Critically Clueless. I'm Marty and today I'll be bringing you my review and my thoughts on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. Now I must start out by saying that I do apologise that there is no music to this review as I've had to turn it off for copyright reasons and that I didn't actually enjoy the game as much when the music was off so if you're going to play this game I would advise you to leave the music on for sure. Now this game was developed by Vicarious Visions and published by Activision. Now the price tag at the moment is $39.99. Now you can find it for a little bit cheaper. Um, I did, I actually bought it myself and I got it for $34.99. Now this game was released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. And it was released on August 14, 2020. Now this game is a remake version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 that was released on PlayStation 1 back in 1999 and 2000. Now back then the game was about making people feel exhilarated when playing the game. It wasn't something you had to sit down and learn how to do tricks in a complicated way. It was easy to pick up and play either you with yourself or with a friend on a couch cop. Um, this is how I played it when I was younger, and I had a lot of fun with my cousin playing the game, and uh, we really enjoyed it back then. Now, Tony Hawk's wanted this remake to bring the same level of excitement and exhilaration to the table for the new generation that never experienced this as most of the original players did. To re-wanting that experience, they have kept everything within the game and how the game plays the same as before. Now this was requested by a lot of people that they didn't want any of the mechanics to change, they wanted this game to stay exactly the same as it was prior to its original release, and it has. Obviously the graphics are way better now and look really really pretty, and we have had multiplayer added to the game, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Now is this game worth $39.99 for the price tag? Well that depends if you're buying it for the reason that I did, which was for the nostalgia. And if you want to have some good old memories coming back, then maybe try and find it for a little bit of a lower price than this, as you might be a little bit disappointed. If you're buying it for the first time, however, and have never played it, then you will probably love it as much as I did when it was originally released. Now, with that being said, I did like this game, and I don't regret buying it, as I'm sure I will have more fun on it. But how did the game actually run? Well it ran really really well. There was no crashes or lags. Sounds were as good as they can be for it's you know it's a skater game so can't really add too much to it. Uh, there's no story to the game. It is just going on different levels, uh, completing all the tasks that are required so you can move on to the next level. Now when I was playing this game obviously I was trying to get used to how I used to play it when I was younger and trying to get as good as I used to be which wasn't very good back then and it hasn't changed I'm still just as terrible as I was back then now the mechanics of the games are really simple you are literally just skating around doing tricks uh, you're collecting different things to move on so you can move on to the next actual level of the game. Now obviously there I'm collecting the word skate. Well, it's dead easy. You've just got to go around and actually find it and then try and get it. After that, you've got to do combos, get combo high scores, and try and get the highest score you can as well. And these are obviously we will also add the extra tasks, which will then provide you with the ability of moving on to the next level. As was said before, I have really enjoyed it. There was a few things that I didn't actually uh, like with the game, and I can't remember if they actually had this in the original, which, from what I was told by a few of my mates, uh, it was. You'd never see him actually push off, really, with the skateboards, um, or put his foot down to try and get a bit more of a momentum, which is a little bit annoying, really, and I found that they should have at least added that in. It would have been quite nice if they did. But, you know... They've tried to keep it exactly the same as they did before, and as I said before, they have. They've done a brilliant job of delivering exactly that. Now on the menu, it's pretty straightforward. You have the option to start on the first or the second game whenever you want. 
You can just go on free skate as well and have a good old laugh, uh, skating around with no time added. Now, obviously, this is good if you need to actually try and get good at some of the skills that you need to do or tricks that you need to land and just generally get better at the game and advise you to have a good old go on the free skate. You can still customize your board uh, and the skater from head to toe. You can add some cool tattoos. Um, I really wish though that they had added a few more tattoos to the game because um, I'm a tattoo person and I do like that. Now there is a skate shop um, and you can buy all the things from your boards to the clothing to tattoos and to logos. And you can also buy pieces for creating your own park. Now, I actually haven't done this yet, uh, creating my own park again, but it sank again that was actually on the original. I'm not sure if you could buy pieces within the shop though on the original. I don't know if that's new or not, so I can't say. Now you have the basic challenges as well, which you can claim for. Um, you get experience points and cash, and obviously they give you the ability to unlock new items that you can buy to add obviously clothing again etc etc what we just talked about now there's also badges that you can have as well to choose uh, pretty sure this is only for people seeing it when you're online so it's not much use for me on that one because i'm not really going to go about to online and back on the options you have a lovely little game mod section which gives you the access to some cheats which is nice to see that you've added to this as in the old days you had to find out the cheats on your own uh, you have to press a series of buttons on the controller to unlock the cheats. So it's nice that they're actually within the options there for you to put on whenever you want. Multiplayer has been added to the game and it is your basic multiplayer type. Now you are competing with other players to get either the highest points or tag the most ramps or, and the rails as possible, you know, to try and beat them basically, or whoever can get the highest combo. Now, I had a go on this, and I am terrible at multiplayer and at the game, to be honest. So, I have had no chance in beating people online, but it was fun. Um, I'm glad it has been added. Obviously, they could not add this feature on the original, as there was no such thing as online console gaming back then. Now, with scoring this game, I gave it a 5.5 out of 10. I couldn't give it any more, and I'm not going to give it any less. But I still like the game and we'll be playing it again. Now if you've liked this video and this review then don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and hit that notification button for more reviews from us. Now I've been Marty, we've been the Critically Clueless and we'll see you again soon. Take care.